Hello! In this video we will look at mobile technologies for studying music and body motion. In a laboratory setting we are able to use highly advanced infrared optical motion capture systems to study very precisely how people move to music. But sometimes we need to go outside the lab uh, and study how people move in the real world. Uh, how people uh, move while listening to music on the metro, on the bus, or in a dance club. For this reason we need to have some sort of mobile technology for studying music and body motion. In front of me I have a couple of examples of such technologies. One of the advantages of this system is that it can be very, very small, such as this accelerometer. Um, imagine studying body motion in a dance club where you can put this in the pocket of every dancer in the club and you get some data on how they move and, and uh, can see how this relates to the music and how they compare to each other. Accelerometers and gyroscopes and also magnetometers are inside every, basically, at least every mobile phone uh, these days. And so everybody in practice has their own motion capture technology that they carry around. Um, more specialized systems also exist, such as this uh, bracelet, which uh, contains a sensor that measure muscle tension in addition to this uh, accelerometer and gyroscope that lets you um, measure the direction of the bracelet and also how, how fast it accelerates uh, like this. So it will tell you which direction I point and how I turn my hand because of the muscle sensors. This suit is a motion capture suit from Xsense Technologies. It contains 17 of these orange sensors uh, and inside each of these there is a magnetometer uh, and a gyroscope and an accelerometer which measures inertia and acceleration and the magnetic flux or uh, basically a compass. Combining 17 of these sensors with a model of a human body, uh, saying that, for instance, this sensor and this sensor can't move further apart than this, and this sensor and this sensor can only move in this angle. Uh, it's possible to get uh, an estimation of how the pose of the person is at any time. Um, and the result you get is quite good actually from thinking that this is this type of technology, there are no cameras involved. Uh, the system is portable uh, with two senders like this and it's possible to, uh, to move quite far away from the transmitter which is uh, right next to a computer. So looking at the screen now my head is upright and the avatar is following my movements. We've tested it up to 50 meters without problems. Um, the one small problem with this system is that it's drifting. So if you move around a lot and go back to the same place, you will possibly have a result that diverges slightly. And also it, uh, it's not able to give you millimeter precision like you get in the optical systems. Still, it's uh, remarkably good and uh, absolutely a good, a good way of measuring body movement. What you can see here is that there's quite a lot of cables, so uh, using it in, for instance, uh, a stage performance requires that you are aware of your system and you will not be able to move as freely as without the system. Uh, but we have used it in several performances and yeah, you can use it um, as a DJ to control DJ sets or as a musical instrument.